All right, so I figure I want to speak about something that that's I've been paying attention to here recently. That's it's, uh, been bugging me a lot, and, and it's something that. Something I don't know whether to rant about or whether to just, in general, I don't know, because it's really, it's really stupid. Um, basically, YouTube, anybody that's a content creator, you know, that's anywhere in the world, no matter whether you're in the States or not, there's a law that's been around since about 2000, early 2000s, and what it was, is it well it's COPA and what it was is it's to uh, keep the people from collecting information on the kids yeah. which you know that I have no problem with but it's original intent was for TV okay but it's now gotten to the point and what I don't understand that's something that I really don't understand this. Okay, YouTube's been around for forever, and it's constantly got bigger and bigger. But it, it's it's been big now for almost a decade, if not a little longer. What I would consider big, and it's constantly getting bigger. But why is it so late in the game that they're doing this? Is beyond me, but essentially, now we have to determine whether our channel is for kids or not. And uh, what what aggravates me the most about it is this is going to kill off a lot of channels. You know, and I don't think it's necessarily just on YouTube. It's going to be, you know, probably Twitch and everything. You know, they're probably all going to have to. Do something about it, um, but it, it it's gonna put a hurt on a lot of people like me. You know, I I, I stream occasionally video games and I upload clips of video games and. Uh, think that my channel is for children because a lot of what I play is mature content like Call of Duty and Far Cry and Grand Theft Auto and whatnot. But and that'll lead me into another topic with this whole thing here later and why I think the gaming thing is going to be the biggest issue. See, I play a lot of glory games, and even the ones I don't play, they're like sports games, you know, or racing games. I, I have a foul mouth. Anybody who watches my channel will know that, you know, something happens. I'm like, holy fucking shit, what the hell, you know? You know, I have a little foul mouth there. Kids really shouldn't be listening to you. But it, it leads me into this topic of... Kids shouldn't be listening. And um, I'm just going to start it out by saying I am a content creator, not a fucking babysitter. If I wanted to be a fucking babysitter, I'd go back and work for the schools. Instead, I'm working for a college now. Now, I don't have to babysit. And, uh, makes my job a lot easier, but it also makes it a lot harder to straight constantly. But, uh, the issue with that being is, it's, it's not necessarily, I don't know whose fault it is. Yeah, I mean, you can lay the blame on, you know, my generation, because I'm in my 40s, and, you know, my generation, when they have kids, you know, and I would say it's also probably the previous generation, too, is 
you know, nobody wants to spend time with their kids anymore. It's, here, honey, sit in front of this computer. Or, here, sit in front of TV. Or, here, fucking watch this TV. And then what happens is they end up clicking on an ad or clicking on a video that, you know, you got somebody with a foul language. They're clicking on an ad and it's fucking buying shit. And you've got enough parents that have bitched about this. And I say bitched because it's not necessarily complaining. Complaining is going, oh, well, you know. But you know how... Anybody who knows my generation knows how they are. You can look, turn on TV. I mean, fucking perfect examples in Tifa. You know, or any of these protests that you fucking see is, it's all fucking childish bullshit. You know, and if that's how they act out in public, Lord knows how they fucking act when they get on the phone with somebody complaining about their kid buying a fucking, uh, fucking hoodie or whatever, because they didn't want to watch their kids, they didn't want to supervise their kids while they were on the net, they wanted to sit there and fucking go off in another room and do something else and let us babysit them, and I think that's where a lot of this has come from, because YouTube's been around for at least 15 years now, I mean, 14, 15 years. I think it started in the uh, mid to late 2000s and here we are going in 2020. And, uh, but I think that's what a lot of it has to do with. And uh, honestly, I, I think it's quite uh, pathetic. Um, not only on our government's part, but not sitting there going, well, you know what? You shouldn't have been out of the room with your kid on the damn computer. You know. Now, if you were with your kid, you would realize that, oh, yeah, this guy on this channel has a foul mouth. Or, oh, shit, they're clicking on an ad to buy something. But no, they were in another fucking room. The government just doesn't want to. They go, oh, well, okay, we got to fucking, we got to, we got to appease everybody now. You know. And, uh. And what's shitty about it is if you're in another fucking country, you have to follow this law. Even though you're not in the United States. Like, if you're in fucking Canada or whatever, you still got to fucking follow it. Because Google's based in Canada. And I, I honestly think it's kind of shitty on that end, too. I mean, it's really shitty for those people. Because they're not even in the fucking country that the law was created in. And, uh, But as I was saying earlier about the games, like mature rated games, you know, that that leads me into the problem of gaming. You know, anybody in the gaming that uploads gaming videos is going to have issues with. Yeah. So, I mean, a lot of gaming channels are probably going to go to the wayside. I mean, I'm looking at right now unless something changes in the near future of possibly shutting my channel down because the fines per an offense, per an offense are $50,000. Okay? I ain't got $50,000 in one fucking year. You know? So, you know, if your channel, and I'm just going to put this in the example, if your channel has only like 10 videos, and we all know YouTube's AI, their algorithm is fucking garbage, to say the least. Um, first of that's with the whole shit with the, uh, Markiplier, when he made a video here recently, he wanted people to put, uh, like a red thing or a green thing in the comments, and people got banned for putting a fucking red thing or a green thing in the comments. Like, you know, that shit right there is, is stupid. I mean, that right there is where the issue is going to have. Is, there's no, and I can't really blame YouTube for this, for having ads. because Lord knows they definitely don't have enough people to fucking post the website. You know. 
So they've got to have AI do some of it. Yeah. You know, but like, like I was saying, Luke, it's forty to fifty thousand dollars per month is what I read. So if you make, if you only have ten videos on your channel and AI decides, oh well, even though this is all Call of Duty videos or all Grand Theft Auto videos, it's video games. So for, But yet, in America, in most countries, probably, at least in America, a, a kid is defined 13 years or younger. Which means that they shouldn't be on them damn games in the first place, let alone fucking watch them. So what are they doing watching them if they can't fucking play them? You know? And that brings me to the issue of, again, people... Not following the rating system. It's been a long time thing. And, you know, honestly, I have no problem with if, say, your kid is mature enough to understand right from wrong, and they play Grand Theft Auto. If you realize that's not what you go and do in society, then yeah, if they're like 14, 15, 16 years old, that's fine. If they understand the effects of war, and they play Call of Duty, and they're 15, 16 years old, that's fine. But I don't need YouTube or whoever saying, oh, well, you know, that's for children because it's a video game. Not exactly. Not exactly, because, again, you know, there are games that are mature content, and... That kids definitely shouldn't be playing, but here we are, we let kids fucking shoot each other in Fortnite. So, which, I can't really use Fortnite as an example, I don't know why it's just, it did that. I mean, it's more of a cartoon based game, but, anyways. It's going to affect a lot of content creators, especially ones that make games. And, you know, YouTube and the government both got to realize this. I mean, I mean, Google didn't want it in the first place, but they've got to follow. They've got to understand that, you know, if you've got a grown man on there, 24, 25 years old, playing fucking Call of Duty, or, you know, playing... A fucking racing game, there's a wreck, and they're going, Holy fucking shit, what the hell? <laughs> you know, or whatever. That, that, it's obviously not for kids. So, it's one of the things, that it's, do you want to roll the dice with it or not? Me personally, I really don't want to. So, that kind of leaves me and a lot of other people up a shit creeps out of paddle, people that just casually or up on, you know, casually, you know, that don't make a whole lot of money, because I don't do it to make the money. I mean, I, I think all together, the whole time I've had this channel, I've maybe made, maybe have made a dollar or two dollars. I don't know. I've looked at the two did one. I don't know. But, you know, I'm definitely not Making in the money like, you know, Markiplier or Jacksepticeye or whoever else out there, you know. I ain't raking in the money off of it. And I definitely ain't going to the length of, I definitely ain't got the money to go to the length of making, you know, shirts to sell online or uh, what have you. And even then, I can't really say that, that, that whole lot about that because you know those guys probably don't want that shit either because you know that's going to make them lose out on ad revenue and lose out like their videos like I watched what YouTube just posted about it and basically you lose features like comments, community obviously ad revenue uh, saving the video to a playlist to watch later um, there was like four or five other things they listed, and, you know, I'm sorry, that's 
pathetic, you know. I mean, that's pathetic, and it all boils down to one problem, one main problem, and that's parents not wanting to spend time with their kids. You know, you know, fucking spend time with your damn pooty monster. You know? You know, don't sit there and hand it a phone because you, you don't want to take responsibility for it. You know? You fucking created that heathen. Fucking spend time with the damn thing. We're not babysitters. We're content creators. And I really hope that this message gets out there to you too. It gets out there to these parents who do this shit that just here, kiddo, you know, watch a video instead of fucking spending time with them. Like, what the fuck is that? Probably can't hear it. Oh, I don't think it is. That's my other thing. Like I said, my reaction to shit usually has the word fuck in it. That's my weather alert thing. There's a bit of the week like this. Like I said, I hope this message gets out there to people it needs to, and that hopefully something can be done about it. Because, to be honest, I, I just, I'm, I'm really appalled by it. I mean, you know, the whole law was meant for TV. And, you know, that's why if you watch, like, like Nickelodeon or whatever, that, like, when it, it shows an advertisement, it's like, get your parents' permission first. Uh, you can't really do that with a little pop-up ad down here in the bottom or whatever. You can't, you know. And, you know, a lot of that, you know, I will say a lot of that, a lot, a lot of that, you know, a tech sense of security shit. Don't save your fucking payment information in your phone or your computer. Manually fucking put it in every time you buy something. That way, if your kid is on the damn computer or the phone, they don't sit there and accidentally buy something. You know, don't save your fucking payment information to your devices. Manually put it in every time. I don't care if it it's it saves you 10, 15 seconds. Fucking manually put it in every time because... Not only is that a security issue if your kid's on there, but it's also a, a security issue if somebody was to say hack that account. And I kind of use the word hack lightly, but if they were to hack into the server to get that information, or your phone was to get a virus from downloading an app or downloading whatever, and that virus pull that information off your phone or off your computer, then you're fucked. I mean, so don't save your fucking, you know, that, that leads me into that because I don't think, I think that's part of the issue too is people don't have a, a sense of security anymore. They just, oh, he said save that. So I'm going to save it. And then you got kids buying it too online, which is the whole root of this issue. And. I mean, personally, uh, personally, I don't uh, agree with uh, them doing this to us, and it's going to end up hurting a lot of channels, hurting YouTube. It's going to end up hurting YouTube a lot, too, because I think uh, you're going to get a lot of people to leave. You're going to get a lot of people to either they're going to shut their channel down and leave, they're going to stop using AdSense, which I don't know if that would really help the issue or not, but it, you're going to stop using AdSense, which YouTube, whether people admit it or not, it, it's kind of like a 75-25 share. Like the people that it's, they make the, the ad get a portion, 50% of it, YouTube gets 25% of it, and then you get like and that's just an, I'm not, I'm not sure what the percentage is, but that's just a general, a way to generalize it. So, you know, it's going to end up hurting not only, it's going to end up hurting a lot of people that they fucking did this, and 
And I want to say they, I mean our, our federal government here in the United States. And, you know, it's going to, you because know, I like to game for fun, and uh, when PS4 came out, I was like, oh, wow, you can stream, you know, that one's fun. So, it kind of, it kind of takes the fun out of it, because you don't get to share your fun with everybody else. Uh, I don't know how to feel about this. I mean, that. I don't really know how to. It's one of those things I'm not really sure how to feel yet. So I feel kind of betrayed by the fact that YouTube had to follow through with this, even though they had no control over it whatsoever. But I also feel kind of pissed that, you know, it might end up resulting in me shutting this channel down. And it's going to end up. And it also upsets me that it may not be the possibility. So it's kind of a mixed emotion thing for me right now. And I mean, you might hear me talk about this a couple more times in the future because, again, it could, it, it's probably going to have to deal with a lot of this channel's future as to whether I keep it up and running or not or shut it down. Because thing is, is I don't make the con I don't make my content for kids. That, I don't do that. Now what YouTube's AI or what the federal government deems is for kids could be games in general, which again could hurt. Hurt me. So it's kind of one of the things that. It might come up here in the next next couple times in the future because it's um and it's something that affects you on a I guess personal level or whatever. But I mean I, you know, that that I think that's my rant. I've been going on about this for but almost 23 minutes now, so um, that's my two cents on it. And like I said, there might be more videos about this in the future. Um, as for me streaming in the future, it, I might do it a couple more times, but if this COPA thing continues down the path, it's going down without YouTube stepping in and going, look. You know, you're going to hurt a lot of our dreams. And they're exactly that. Creators, not babysitters. You know, so unless something happens, which I don't see anything happening within the next month, month and a half, it's not looking good. So, um, uh, as, as I find out more information, or as I see more of uh, <laughs> more shit going down, per se. Um, I'll definitely be making videos on that, but I think that's enough for my rant. Uh, wherever you're at, you have a great day, and you can also out there.